All right, well, I'm literally stalking Nick as he's re <laughs> restocking the shelves because he's about to put a beautiful Mary on the shelf. Okay, well, we are currently at the Goodwill of Le Moyne, and we're going to head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. <laughs> I walked in and spotted these decorative bottles. I thought at first they were modeled after corn. I was like, is that decorative corn bottles? Apparently not. Okay, well, they are currently stocking the shelves, so we may be in luck, but we won't know until we walk up and down a few of them. Um, this is Glass Masters. I guess that's a unicorn with a beard. It's like a, a goat unicorn. $1.99 on that. It's missing the chain that it hangs from. I might look that one up since it has a mark on it. I don't expect it will be worth very much though. I'm just going to stick it in there for now. Uh, because I've noticed these down here. This one I believe is De Her. No, this is made in Holland. That's why it's familiar because I have bought and sold this before. It's $2.99. It's very nice. I'm going to open it up and see what the inside looks like. So Dagny actually taught me to open these up before I commit to buying them. Because you just never know what the inside is going to hold or if you can even get them open. Which is the case on this one. I wonder if there's a twist. No, it just doesn't open. That lid literally it does not open and now I feel like I have to buy it just to prove that I can get the lid open. It's $2.99. I even tried like using the shelf for leverage and it was just not happening. So now it's a challenge. Let's see what else we got down here. This one is to her. This is $1.99. That's pretty also. And then this I think is lacquer. And I can gar almost guarantee that when you pull off that tape it's going to take off the finish. So we're not going to mess with that. A few decorative houses. I thought they were maybe cats meow, but you can't see any cats on there. I think this one actually looks hand painted. This is Barnegat Light, Long Beach Island. Must have been somebody's lighthouse collection today. Here are some Norman Rockwell collector's plates. I don't usually mess with collector's plates. Kind of cute, but they are Target home. They are flamingos. Looks interesting. What does it say on the bottom? I think it's reproduction. Redware folk art. What does it say? It says K and K interiors. Made in China. But it does have a nice fall motif and some some redware can be worth money. So I'm gonna grab that. I think it would go nice with some real, you know, folk art redware. It would match nicely. This is $4.99. It has a nice wooden handle and all three of its little dishes for $4.99. It does need a little bit of a bath, but I think I'm definitely gonna stick that in here. These are kind of cute, the leaf pattern on them. I guess there's berries on there as well. I like them, but they do seem a little bit worn, so I think I'll leave those behind. Looks right by these. Those lemon measuring cups. Those are kind of cute. There's probably a little bit of money to be made there, so maybe I'll grab those. Okay, here we are in green. That's fancy. There's a vase. I think it's likely silver plate though. How much do they have on that? $4.99. What is this? That is a print. <laughs> Praying hands. Okay, what do we have here? That is temptations. I feel like there's probably a dish or something that went on top of that. <laughs> this is kind of adorable. I don't know if that would be 80s or 90s. $3.99 on that. That's kind of nice kitchen decor. And cats sell well for me, so I think I'll pick that up for $2.99. I can tell you right now, I'm definitely going to be doing a cart review, but before, let's grab this bad boy, Blanco. What? I don't think I've ever seen the clear before. This is a water pitcher. I actually have them in a few different colors. This is March Blanco 2016. That right there, my friends, is a winner. That's fantastic. It'd be nice if we found some more Blanco. <laughs> I guess our chances are probably pretty slim. I'm gonna check this out. Yeah, it's Bombay made in China. 
I don't know why, but I'm always seem to be attracted to that Bombay stuff. Interesting, this is $2.99, Anchor Hawking, Lancaster, Ohio. And you can see there's a little dish in there. Anchor Hawking giftware. I don't think I've ever seen this in the original packaging. <laughs> it's funny because I saw it and I'm like, what is that? That looks vintage. And it took me a moment to realize that the packaging is actually vintage. It was never even opened. So that's great. Scanning the shelves real quick to make sure that there are no more. It's probably just the single. What do we have here? This is linens and things. Okay. I walked right by the red section, so I should probably give it a peek. This is neat, but it's missing all of the legs. I think can't tell if that's crystal or not, but here is one of the legs. And there's only one there, <laughs> the other two are completely missing. I wonder if the base to that is somewhere. $2.99. Kind of like the looks of that. I have no comment for that. Okay, well, I'm going to head over towards the mugs and the dinner where I feel like I might have some luck there. I have in the past, so you just never know. Dream it, believe it, do it. That looks like a bee catcher or a fly catcher. Or maybe it's just a lantern. It's just a lantern. Okay, here's some daisy and button. That's a cute little trinket dish. There's a massive vase right there for $4.99. I don't think I need that though. If it was if it was colored, if it was blue or something, I would definitely grab that. Over here, these look like Australia coin glass, $2.99. <laughs> I thought at first that they were more of uh, the anchor hawking. Looks like there's three of them. I've noticed that um, since I first started buying and selling, um, this Australia coin glass has gotten to be a little bit more valuable. So I'm not sure at this moment what it looks like. As far as resale value, but I think it's $2.99 each. I can't really lose on those. There's another dish. This one has a sticker on it, $6.99. I wonder if that was from somebody's um, antique mall booth. It does actually have the glass spoons that go with it, which is kind of neat, but I don't think I'm going to be picking that up. I have a pretty hard time getting rid of my clear glass. <laughs> bit of milk glass there. This is pretty and floral, $3.99. There's a flower on the bottom. It's a very lightweight ceramic though, so I'm kind of surprised there's no chips or cracks on that. The texture of this that is $2.99. I feel like there may have been a center bowl or serving dish. This poor dove is still here. This has been here forever. <laughs> I'm, at this point, I'm a little tempted to buy it, but I think I'm going to leave it behind. Maybe if it's here the next time, we'll pick it up. It's just plain. It's one of those shell creatures. This one actually has googly eyes for $2.99. <laughs> I've tried buying and selling these before, and I just haven't had the greatest luck, which really surprises me because I just think they're kitschy and fun. Some sort of handkerchief and some cufflinks. It's fancy. Gosh, <laughs> I almost wonder if we're gonna turn up the little shakers that go in this. There, they could be. Oh my gosh, wait. Squirrel. That looks like Fenton. <laughs> okay. Um, no, we need to find the shakers that go with this because they're they're little nodders, and they could be fish. I've seen them with fish. I've also seen them with skulls. So maybe we'll uh, we'll find some. I'm gonna stick it in the cart and maybe we'll come across them. If not, I'm not gonna be too upset, but I'm actually gonna stick them. I'm gonna move everything down and I'll put my flap up and I'll put it right up here so that I remember to be on the lookout. Remember, we are on the lookout. 
for little nodders. Kind of adorable. <laughs> Sweet little elephant. He is super cute. That's probably a child's cup. They would assume. Oh my gosh, it's really hard to put that back, but I'm gonna do it. There's some milk glass. Here, shakers. I know you're here somewhere. These are made of resin. I to browse through the frames here. This one in the back I thought looks like sterling from a distance, but it actually even says that it is plated. So that was a little bit disappointing. All right, well, I'm literally stalking Nick as he's re <laughs> restocking the shelves because he's about to put a beautiful Mary on the shelf. Well, it's always good running into Nick. He's not always out here on the floor. This is really cool. This is what I saw. I saw Nick walk by and I just like, I started following him and he put it down on the shelf and I'm like, I'll take that. That's amazing. It's made in Italy. You guys know I don't usually do much with the Holy Mother. I think that's what, he, that's what the Catholic name, I call her Mary. Um, I don't usually do a whole lot with her um, because I had a really, really bad experience selling one of these. It was like the worst experience I've ever had selling anything. So I've kind of like steered clear of buying religious items. I've kind of been buying a little bit more, but she, I could not pass up. She's absolutely gorgeous and um, she is made in Italy. So she made her way into our cart. The other thing I noticed were these. These are black glass. They're probably Acarac, France. Yeah, they are. They are France. They have this really cute um, hand painted design, but I think I'm gonna keep moving. I don't need them. Don't need any more dinnerware until I get rid of some. So oh, we'll take Mary with us, and we will see what else we can find. More. Oh my gosh, this one actually. I was gonna say this is what it looks like without being painted, but this one actually has paint on it too. Turn that around so somebody can see it. What is it? Always be kind. It's not a glassy baby. <laughs> it's like, is that a glassy baby in the original box? No, it's not. And this definitely isn't. I know a lot of you saw this in one of my videos and thought that it was, but it's most certainly not. What in the world are those things? I'm very confused by these. <laughs> what is supposed to be an antler? And I'm not really quite sure what the other one is supposed to be. It's very weird. Okay, here is a teapot with a bunny on it, but there are no signs of it being Mackenzie Childs. This is a cute little trinket box. This one has shells on it. Ninko, made in the Philippines. I think that has some age to it. Um, the hinge is actual fabric. So it doesn't have a metal hinge on it. It's probably vintage. Probably like 8 to 12 though. So I don't think I'm going to bother with that. This is me trying to be more picky. We finally had an opportunity to look up this unicorn. I looked up Glass Masters Unicorn. Looks like it sells for about $20. Um, this one up here though uh, was best offer accepted, but it was less than $30. So it was 30 plus shipping. So it was less than $40, but more than 30. So probably 35, I would guess. But this one has the chain. So I would probably expect about 20 on that. So I think we'll keep that in there. Look like Soroka wood. The 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 carrot. Oh, he. That's a he. He careth for you. <laughs> I'm like the careth. I don't. I know what that means. Um, no, these are probably Soroka. Would be my guess. They're kind of neat. They are vintage. They're bookends. Two ninety nine and two ninety nine. I feel like they're worth at least twenty dollars as the pair. Um, I'm not real sure because I didn't look them up, but I'd say we do okay with those. It's a pretty ice bucket. I like that guy. He doesn't have any markings on him. It almost looks like um, the Elven from The Ring. <laughs> if, I had, if I had to say what that looks like, that's what it is. $2.99 on that. If there were cups and uh, maybe a ice tongs, I might consider it, but we're gonna just keep walking. This is a carnival collector's plate. I don't 
usually see those fetching very much money. Kind of neat looking. What is that? It is Mertz. Um, Arubama? Bamba? Arubamba. Seminario. Interesting. I like the design on that. I think it's more contemporary, but I'm going to take a moment and look this up. Here are some comps. It looks like it comps out about what Talavera would. Um, I gotta say, I really love this cat face there at the top. This one has bird on it, though. And it's $2.99, so I think I'll take that with me. It's kind of cool looking. Made in the Philippines. <laughs> you got a sword? Santa and his sword? Maybe that's Krampus. There are some bunnies. They are plastic, though. What is this? This is cool looking. There's no markings or anything on it. $2.99. It's pottery. <laughs> it's a carrot wall art. Is it weird that I'm strangely attracted to it? Maybe. $2.99. Okay. I think I'm going to buy the carrot. Looks like down here someone started making an afghan and then did not have the time to finish it. I am having no luck finding those salt and pepper shakers and it's kind of bumming me out. I think I'm going to have to put that back. Today an egg, tomorrow a feather duster. <laughs> a kiss without a mustache is like an egg without salt. A hen is only an egg's way of making another egg. Isn't that clever? 1976. Y.M. I don't know, is that made out of pewter or aluminum? Not exactly sure. It's a really adorable um, deviled egg plate. I feel like the longer I'm circling, the more stuff I'm finding. Looks interesting. Oh my gosh. So I just came from the other Goodwill and there was a bunch of these hangy tags on there. This looks Italian, maybe. Made in Italy. I come across this pattern and style quite a bit, and I know it doesn't have a huge resale value, but you guys know I'm a sucker for the Italian stuff. Um, I think I'm just about ready to call it quits here because it's going on four, and I still want to go check out um, Antiques Marketplace of Lemoyne. I like the looks of this little snowman. He's adorable. Made in China. He's got a lot of tarnish on him, though. some good weight to it but I don't think that I really need it. This is fun. Oh I thought that that was like one of those tiered Christmas trees but it's not. And then who is this guy? It's Wizard Joseph. Super cute. Looks like it may have been a Christmas card that somebody pasted onto there. Alright, well, I think it's time to evaluate everything that I've got in my cart. I did talk to Nick, um, who works here, and asked him if he'd seen any of the skulls or anything that went on top of that shaker, and he had not, so I ended up putting that back onto the shelf. Um, this is worth about 20 bucks, so I'm going to keep that. Let's see what else I stuck in here. I mean, it's not a whole lot if you really break it down, so it's not very intimidating. here. I'm the most happy with this lady and then I think the second best is the Blanco. But um, I think I'm going to head up towards the checkout now. Okay, well that was a good trip to the Goodwill. I don't recall our total spend um, so I will put it up here. Uh, but we did pretty great. I think that Mother Mary statue is the best thing that we found. Without a doubt. It's amazing. Um, so I'm really excited about that. But um, the rest of the stuff was also pretty good. You know, some odds and ends, some smaller pieces. But we're going to get out of here now. And I'm going to head on home. We're having dinner with my dad because my mom is out of town. But I'm going to end the video now. And I will see all of you tomorrow. So I know it's nothing new. But it's so good to see you. Do this every day And I'm still so amazed